In this video, I want to talk about how residential assisted living and behavioral health residential facilities and also sober living, transitional housing, anything to do within this space has provided not only myself, but so many other people financial freedom and how you're able to actually achieve this in this space. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. And if you have not yet, make sure to go check out the God Made Podcast on most streaming platforms. Also feel free to go check out legionassistedlivingacademy.com where I teach how to start your own facility from A to Z. Also, if you are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with myself, that will also be at legionassistedlivingacademy.com or in the description of this video. Also, if you are a passive investor looking to actually put some money to work into this space because you know the potential is there, make sure to go check us out at valleyalfventures.com. And also, if you're an operator looking to potentially expand your operations or potentially looking to sell your facility, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to have a conversation with you. And now that all the housekeeping is done, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. Is financial freedom really something that you can achieve through residential assisted living or behavioral health residential facilities or transitional housing or anything to do within the space of residential facilities? And the answer to that question, I'll be honest, is yes. So upfront, I would tell you that just because from my professional opinion and what I've been able to achieve within the space has provided myself and my family and people around me and other people that I know the financial freedom to be able to actually go out there and continue to pursue what they're passionate about because of the space and because of these types of businesses. Now, a lot of people have different things in mind when it comes to financial freedom and what that truly means and it can be subjective to each and every single individual of what financial freedom is but for me personally and from my experience financial freedom is more than just a certain number that you hit per month from an income perspective but what it actually allows you to do on a time-to-time -time basis one thing that people do not talk about when it comes to financial freedom is time freedom right how are you utilizing that time with the finances and the resources that you've been able to achieve through certain businesses? Is that something that you consider and factor in? And so for me, that does play a huge factor in what does financial freedom truly mean? When you talk about financial freedom and what that may mean for you, for me, it's being able to have the time to be able to go out and enjoy it with my loved ones doing the things that I enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And that can also consist of working on your businesses, right? Being able to have the freedom to be able to continue to grow it and to continue to provide you more resources and means to not only get the things that you want, but also uh, enjoy life to the fullest extent. And so with residential assisted living and all these different things that I do now, it has provided me the means to be able to, you know, continue to grow my businesses and to spend time with my loved ones. I am a married man now. I do have two, two children of my own and I do have a growing family. And it's something that I am very grateful and fortunate to be able to spend time with them and to be able to watch my little ones grow and to be there with them every single day. Not every single individual is able to say that and be able to do that. And so because of residential assisted living and because of all the things that I've been doing within these uh, different spaces and niches with healthcare, it has provided me the time to spend with them. And so for each of you, you have to start factoring that in when it comes to what is it that you want out of your life and how can these different types of businesses provide for that lifestyle that you want to have and how do you go about doing that and so everything that i've taught on this channel and everything i teach through uh, what i do at the moment and what i've done in the past to be able to be able to tell you all that it is definitely achievable through residential assisted living through these different business ventures but you have to be willing to commit to it you have to be willing to go all in everything i've done to this point i've gone all in 
Now, with residential assisted living, when I first started out and started my very first facility, I went all in. Even though I had my nursing degree that I could fall back on and go work a part-time job as a nurse somewhere, whatever that may have been for me at that time, I decided not to do it. I decided to go all in and betting on myself. And I'm very happy that I did that. And I have no regrets about it. Not everyone can afford to go all in right off the bat. And it's probably not suggested and recommended, but at some point you gotta make that leap of faith in yourself and betting on yourself and on your proof of concept, on your vision of what you're wanting to achieve through this space. Most people that I know have stopped at one or two facilities. Reason being is because they make a decent living out of that and actually a really good living, you know, to make anywhere from 15 to $25,000 a month profit that you get to take home from two facilities. That's huge, right? For a lot of people, that's life changing. They would never hit that if they ever try to through a career unless they've been there for 30, 40 years. And so most people stop at that point. And to be honest, once you get to one or two facilities and you have it on autopilot for the most part, why not try to go and grow that business, right? Take the time that you've been able to get back through the one or two facilities that you have and keep growing that and keep thinking bigger, think, think beyond residential assisted living and not just residential, go into commercial. And when you start doing that and you start pushing that goal line and that goal post, you start to realize you have way more potential than what you even thought. But don't become complacent, don't become content. And I know that this video is more of a motivational video and not so more like informational, but I would say in my personal experience, that is what you should strive for and you should do. And it's definitely more than achievable, especially when you're in a niche that not a lot of people even know about or even want to take the risk on learning and doing, right? The barrier of entry is higher to get into this space simply because of all the red tape and regulations when it comes to licensing and uh, different aspects of this business from billing, so on and so forth. But once you have the systems in place, once you get that first one up and going, it's only a matter of rinse and repeat. And so with all that being said, I want to encourage every single one of you to really think hard about getting into the space and how it can provide you and your loved ones the financial freedom, the time freedom to be able to actually be able to pursue the things that you genuinely enjoy. And I don't want to just sound like one of these people out there telling that it's all just great and that it all go the way that you hope, but it's only a matter of repetitions, being disciplined in all the right things, making the best decisions that you possibly can at that moment and putting one foot in front of the other into eventually you look back and you say, wow, who would have ever thought if you would have told me this two, three, four, five years ago, there's no way I would have believed you. So I just want to encourage you here. I am six years later, and I can tell you from my experience that it all works out as long as you're not quitting. Failure is not a thing. Quitting is. And so when those times come where you want to just give up and forget it, do not do that. Keep pushing forward. Keep pursuing your goal, your vision of what you've set for yourself and for your loved ones. And so with all that being said, make sure to go check out legionassistedlivingacademy.com if you are wanting to actually really expand your knowledge on this space and what it actually takes. Feel free to also book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with myself. And so with all that, I will talk to you all in the next one. God bless.